Hello everybody, my name is Parak and in today's video I figured I'd do kind of mini-series that I started a while ago where I go use a weapon without any of the wire bug skills and I figured I'd start today with the dual blades just to kind of see how it would go if we didn't have the uh, wire bug skills. I'm still going to use wire bug movement of course like uh, dashing around and wire bug recovery because honestly wire bug recovery isn't that strong it's more so just like hey you get to go back into the hunt now at least that's the way I see it. You can either, like, use the resource to go into, uh, or get back into the fight, or just don't. Oh, right. I was instinctively going to spiral, but I stopped myself, which is good. I don't know how we dodged through that, but we take those. Damage, chasing down. So, I'm not allowed to use Shredded Vault, obviously Iron Shine Silk, or the, um, Spiral Slash, of course. So... It's just going to be a lot of this, a lot of one-two spin, the old classic. Nope. Also, I chose uh, Demon Flurry Rush. Obviously, I can't unequip Demon Flurry Rush or Demon Flight, so can't really fix that. I guess I could do like full standard triangle combo, but uh, can't do that. Obviously, I can't like um, get rid of Demon Flurry Rush. So may as well use it. It's very very solid movement. It's good damage. So we would definitely use it. And I definitely chose it ahead of the two because uh, I do not like Demon Flight in this game. Oh, we got away from it. I usually always Shred a Vault into that so I can actually stay on top of him and make sure it doesn't hit me because it has a pretty filthy hitbox. As with a lot of Valstrax's attacks in this game, there's a lot of really big hitboxes with this lad. They're a little bit outlandish, just a little bit. Mm, that's going to hit me. Oh, it didn't. Because that has a very big hitbox as well. Same kind of deal, basically. Very, very big hitbox on it. You can't counter it, so I got away. He's either going to spin or take it off. That's all right. You can just Superman dive it, do it normally. Dog's chilling. Like villains. One, two, three, four, five. Nice and easy. Go to that other arm. If we can break it, we can knock him down. Also, let me know if you just want to see this without, like, broken... Uh... I guess broken armor skills count. Like, don't use Berserk, even though, in my opinion, they're both extremely strong anyway. Uh, we have to dive this, because I don't have the counter, obviously. And I think I can just walk. I cannot just walk. Good to know. I actually couldn't remember if you can, but, uh, that definitely works. But yeah, let me know if you want to see me do it without, uh, what's it called? Um, Berserk and, like, broken skills. Or skills people consider to be broken. Berserk is definitely broken. But, uh, things in that regard go sideways. Or go the same way that that arm came from with that one. If he does the Giga Slam, you're supposed to go sideways, but it worked out that time. But yeah, I, I reckon... Obviously, Berserk is very, very powerful, but, uh, Dragon version's also extremely solid with, like, Heaven Sent, because you could just run a Heaven Sent set and then you just take reduced damage anyway, as if you were, like, immortal, regardless. Again, get away from that. Big, big explosion, or big, big hitbox on that one. Nice, we got our check. Fighting the urge to press Spiral Slash there, for sure. Because uh, we'll definitely go for it immediately off the topple. Because you get to just smack his face for uh, quite a bit. Get a power up. No power up. Should only do that once. That was a interesting stagger. Definitely lost a bit of an opening, but that's alright. Lands again. Try to smack the face as best we can because it does take the most damage at the moment. Went back into the air to waste some more time. Thank you, buddy. Smack him in the face. Nice and simples. Also figured I'd go fight uh, Valstrax with it. Because obviously, like, viability is somewhat a question as well with not using this stuff. Because I know a lot of people do, like... I don't know. They don't like the game because these skills feel too broken. My answer to that is always, you don't have to use it, so I may as well put my money where my mouth is there. But I'm pretty certain you don't need the skills and that do reasonably well with uh, a lot of these weapons. There's definitely some of them you want it, like a uh, longsword, greatsword for example. 
Even Gunlance to a lesser degree, but Gunlance isn't like stupidly broken, so people usually don't talk about that one. But Gunlance definitely likes its uh its Wybug skills and its necessary skills. So that is a little interesting. But yeah, I figured I'd, I'd fight Valstrax just to like somewhat compare it to a regular time I would get, which we are already passing, so there's that. Although I guess that's with followers. I would usually be done round about here. That's fine. Shouldn't take too much longer, I don't think. I feel like it shouldn't take much longer. Nope. Nope. Yep. Same way that that arm came from. Nice and simple. We're also not going to get any mounts, because obviously we don't have a wire bug skill to use. So we can't force it. No, 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 no. Same way that that arm came from, but it didn't matter because he didn't do it. Oh, he went for a spin. That was lucky that I staggered it. I ran through it somehow. Usually can't run through that, but we take it. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, we got away. Dashing. Oh, yeah, also, obviously, with the dragon conversion set, I can also run evasion stuff. Because should have plenty of space for it without uh, having to build for strife and mail, obviously. Nice and easy. Same way that that arm came from. Okay. This is also a um, no weakness exploit set, of course. Because Valstrax does not have 45 hit zones on his diagonal. On his uh, feet there. Which is what we're primarily hitting because it takes elemental damage the entire time. So it's very, very good to go for those feet. Nope. 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 And same arm. Easy stuff. He is blue, so we're not actually that far behind, in all honesty. But I guess that's only blue. He's not, like, on death's door yet. Although he might be now. So we just got to topple. Oh, I guess I can just sit here, actually. Instead of, like, trying to... Oh, okay, he was at death's door. Never mind. So yeah, dual blades are definitely fine without the, like, super strong skills people complain about. 90% affinity set as well, because... Obviously, I'd have to build for that extra 10% by either getting Bloodlust or putting it in the weapon, and I'm not doing that. Rather, just sit at 90%. That was completely fine. Again, let me know if you want to see me do it with a, dra a Dragon Conversion set instead. If you think Berserk is too strong, because obviously... I would have been in a little bit of trouble in this hunt. Just a little bit, because we got hit during one of his sequences there. Oh, on the, uh, the nuke. So we might have actually carted from that. Or at least procced Moxie if we had a uh, regular set. A non-health drain set. We've got eight mantles there. Very nice. Oh yeah, as always, I almost forgot to show the build. Here it is. It's just my standard comfort dual blade setup. This time with no weakness exploit because again, I'm going to fight a monster that I can't hit a 45 reliably with. So I may as well make it a reliable crit instead with a Berserk 2 with two 2 slots, but they're both being used on one slots as you can see. And here are the skills and decorations, of course. All the green numbers are from decorations, if you want a screenshot there and there you can. But yeah, that was the first official video in this mini-series of going to fight monsters without any of the super broken skills that people like to complain about to see how it goes. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.